Well, hello C++ programmers. Brian Malloy here on overloading output operators. And I'd like to talk about how you do it and, and try to demystify it a bit. So what I've done is I've started with a class that I called meaning, meaninglessly A. So I have a capital class called capital A with a default constructor, a conversion constructor, a copy constructor, a get function, and a data attribute and I've instantiated big A as a little a passing 7 in I'm using the conversion constructor here and then I'm going to do C out get number okay nothing wrong with this let's go ahead and convince you that it compiles and runs okay big deal well the point of this is though that suppose I had an int i equals 99 well I would do that like this I would if I wanted I'd do I'd say, okay, C out I, because I is an object, you know, that I'm initializing to 99, C it out, and of course that works, so we can compile it and run it. I'd like to be able to just do C out A, and I can do that. So let me just clear this up a little bit so we're not too confused. I can overload output, so let me go ahead and um, overload output. I'm going to do it for you. And I'll have std colon colon o stream ampersand out const a ampersand a. And I'm going to do this in two lines instead of one. I want to insert my output stream is called out. And I'm going to insert into it a dot get number. Okay. And then I want to return out and then do this. Okay. Now, let's see. What it, let's let me just so what does this do for me? let's first talk about what this does for me and then let's try to demystify it a little bit even more okay so let me bring make this bigger okay so what do you want to do here well what this buys for me is I can get rid of this now and I can now I'll put a the same way I would if this were an integer int i equals 99 I'm going to do this so let me just run it convince you that it works it does work the same but I just like it better because I can do it now let me first try to explain what's going on here and then I'll try to explain what's going on here okay so what am I doing well I'm defining a function called operator less than less than let's think of it that way maybe that'll help so it's a fu it's a function called operator less than less than essentially what that means is I'm overloading what's called the insertion operator less than less than and I want to insert, I want to return by reference an O stream because that way I could do, I could do this. Uh, B gets 88 and I can say, see I can do that now. And what is, let, let me show you why I can do that. Okay, it works. See? Well, there's no space, there's, there's 7 and then 88, so there's no space in there because I didn't do a, uh, you know an ENDL or anything so what does this mean okay so it's left associative so I first insert a into C, the output stream C out and that and then this function returns an O stream so the result of this the result of this is an O stream into which I can now place B and the result of this is I return it again is is another O stream into which I can re insert the ENDL. So I don't want this to be a void function. I want to uh, return an O stream so that I can insert lots of things into it. Okay. And now let me get rid of this because I don't want to overly complicate this. But that's why I return that. Okay. Secondly. I want to pass my output stream as a parameter because I'm passing C out into it. Now I'm going to show you what, what, why that works. And I'm going to pass A into it. Then out is my O stream. Into this O stream I want to put a dot get number. So I call this and get the number and I stick it in there and then I return it so I can cascade these, you know. All right, so that's an attempt on my part to explain what's happening here. Let me see if I can explain what's happening here. One of the questions you might have is, how does this right here line up with that? So let me write this a long way. So I could say um, operator, because you're used to this. STD colon colon C out. And then I can put A. And now I don't need this. Okay, so what have I done? This 
might line up better for you with this. Why? Well, here's the name of the function. Operator less than, less than. That lines up with here. This is right here, STDC out. That's my first parameter. It goes into here. I could declare a file, a logical file name, and pass a file in there, and my output stream would now be the file I want to write to. But I want to send it to the to my terminal, so I'm going to use C out. And then my second perimeter is this object little a of type big A, and that'll go in here. So this lines up nicely with this. I'm just trying to explain this. So watch, this will compile and run. But, but I don't like it that way. I don't like it looking like that. I mean, I'm, I'm much more used to, in other words, actually, this is a prefix expression. Why do I say prefix? It's prefix because the operator comes first and then the two operands. Okay, so this is a binary operator, takes two operands, and I'm putting it in prefix form. Prefix means the operator comes first, followed by the two operands. But you know what? I'm not used to it like this. I'm used to it like uh, this. You see? I'm used to it in infix form. Why is that infix form? Where the operator comes in the middle and the first operand is here and the second operand is there. So that'll do the same thing, you see? But that's what we're used to. And in fact, it's even nicer if I can do std colon colon endl all on one line. And now this will compile and I'm right back to where I started. Okay, I don't know if this helps. I'm trying to demystify this a little bit for you. What people frequently do is they put this all on one line like that, you know, just because it's succinct. It might not be as clear, so maybe we shouldn't do it, but you can see it works. I don't know. I hope this helps demystify overloading operators a bit. It's not easy. It's never easy, and it's never clear who's to know. Anyway, Brian Malloy, over and out. Happy programming.